All right, so this is another important article about model editing, which is called Editable Neural Networks. This paper in 2020. These days, deep neural networks are ubiquitously used in a wide range of tasks from image classification and machine translation to face identification and self-driving cars. In many applications, a single model error can lead to devastating financial, reputational, and even life-threatening consequences. Therefore, it is crucially important to correct model mistakes quickly as they appear. In this work, we investigate the problem of neural network editing, how one can efficiently patch a mistake of a model on a particular sample without influencing the model behavior on other samples. Namely, we propose editable training, a model agnostic training technique that encourages fast editing of the trained model. We empirically demonstrate the effectiveness of this method on large-scale image classification and machine translation tasks. In order to measure and optimize the model's ability for editing, we first formally define the operation of editing a neural network. So let f be a neural network with x denoting its input and theta being set for network parameters. The parameters are learned by minimizing a task-specific objective function, for example, cross-entropy for multi-class classification. So if we discover mistakes in the model's behavior, we can patch the model by changing its parameters. Here we aim to change model's prediction on a subset of inputs corresponding to misclassified objects without affecting other inputs. We formalize this goal using the editor function. Informally, this is a function that adjusts theta to satisfy given constraint, whose role is to enforce desired changes in model behavior. For instance, in the case of multi-class classification, L sub e can guarantee that the model assigns input x to the desired label. So the editor function should meet these three uh, natural requirements, reliability. So any, any model editing in this playlist, you should check these three me performance measures. If they are reliable, its locality is good, its efficiency is good. For example, reliability must guarantee that it is less than zero for a chosen family. Locality, the editor should minimize influence outside of satisfying this condition. And efficiency, the editor should be efficient in terms of runtime and memory. The last one is less, uh, is often overlooked in the papers that I have read on model edit. They mostly talk about reliability and locality, but not efficiency. So this is the gradient descent editor the heart of the problem. If uh, it is less than zero, then keep it uh, your parameters. Otherwise, you edit it. I think this one is also similar to that article that I said, Grace, that the name of the model was Grace. But they have some key to check, but instead of key, they have this condition. And the core idea behind editable training is to enforce the, tr the model parameters to be prepared for the editor function. More formally, we want to learn such parameters that the editor is reliable, local, and efficient. So our training procedure employs the fact that gradient descent editor is differentiable with respect to theta. This well-known observation allows us to optimize through the editor function directly via backpropagation. 
Editable training is performed on mini batches of this constraint, for example, images and target labels. First, we compute edited parameters by applying uh, up to k steps of gradient descent. Second, we compute objectives that measure locality and efficiency of the editor function. And again, we have this KL divergence between these two probability measures. So we have a locality measure and the edit and our base. And they have, of course, the three metrics over their entire test set. So this is editable training of ResNet 18 and C410 with different editor functions. 